Further debate, I look to the member from London, North Centre. Thank you, Speaker. I'm proud to support this motion, the Affordable Home Ownership Plan, which would help every Ontarian find a good, stable place to call home. Speaker, New Democrats believe that housing is a human right, and right now, far too many Ontarians are being denied that right because of this province's housing crisis. Every year, rent gets higher and housing prices go up. The dream of owning a good home seems further and further out of reach. I know that this is true across the province, but it is especially true in my riding of London North Centre. Last month, I held a roundtable with the Leader of the Opposition and a group of young renters in London that are feeling increasingly hopeless because of the Ontario's housing market. Hadley, a young professional in his 30s, has been a renter his whole life, despite having steady work at a well-paying job. Hadley shared with me his frustrations about being trapped in a cycle of renting instead of being able to find a home where he would be able to settle down for good and start a family. But this story is all too common, Speaker. I spoke with another young Londoner recently, Davis, who, along with his partner, Ali, are pursuing graduate degrees at Western University. They're expecting parents, with a little one due, to arrive this April. It should be an exciting time for them, Speaker, but instead, they're both feeling the stress of being unable to find a home for their growing family. While their current apartment works for the two of them, it simply doesn't have enough space for them and their baby. Now they're on the deadline to find a bigger apartment or a home in time for their baby's arrival. Young families across this province are feeling this way, and, and the government's inaction is leaving them stuck in housing that no longer suits their needs. It's no wonder that these young Londoners are feeling frustrated. Housing costs continue to skyrocket while the Liberal government let costs get out of control, and the current government will do whatever their developer buddies want, no matter how much that hurts families. People can't keep waiting for good homes while governments delay. London social housing waitlist, for example, has steadily gone up over the last few years and now numbers almost 6,000 people. That's 6,000 people that need access to safe and affordable shelter that are currently going without. If that weren't enough, the London Vital Signs report discovered that 13% of Londoners are living in unsafe, unsuitable, inadequate, or unaffordable housing. It's impossible to hear these statistics and not realize how urgent it is that we tackle this housing crisis. An NDP government would also stand up for consumers during the most important purchase of their lives. We will review the building inspection systems, strengthen coordination between municipal building inspectors, the regulator, and the new home warranty system. Building codes are utterly meaningless if they're not enforced. Too many homes have been built with defects that should have been spotted and fixed during construction. Consumers should not be left on the hook because of long-standing gaps within the system. New Democrats also understand that giving Ontarians a safe place to call, to call home can go hand in hand with fighting the climate crisis. I urge this government to stand up for hardworking Ontarians, stand up for young people, not developers, insiders, backroom buddies and political donors. Stand up for Ontarian families.